happen to conduct certain projects or LED light upgrades. The city is supposed to be lit. It's not the countryside. It's a familiar sight if you can see it. Lights on, it's absolutely terrible to even navigate through or drive through. Interstate lights in New Orleans, large swaths of road in the dark. Early morning, late night, it could get pretty crazy out there. Just like trucking, you know, one day to the other. Edward Talbert is from Montgomery, Alabama, and has been trucking for 27 years. How often do you drive through a city where you know, at least a significant chunk of the interstate lights aren't working. You don't, you don't, do, you don't. You really don't. You don't see that too often. What's the problem? I don't know what the problem is, but, you know, we usually in, about in and out. You know, you always have to pay attention when you're driving. Kind of drive through here Monday through Friday, you know, my commute to work from Mississippi. Stephen Turner is a commuter. Sometimes it gets real bad, especially if there's any sort of inclement weather. Inclement weather, like fog which you can see in these videos, Fox 8 captured driving on the interstate. Light outages stretch along the high rise, other sections of I-10 and 610. When you hit the city limits, it should be lit up like a city. This isn't the first time New Orleans City Councilman Oliver Thomas has spoken out about this issue. I think we're out of excuses. He says large chunks of highway in Orleans Parish have been in the dark for two years now. As Soon as you get lights on, Someone either breaks them, takes the wiring, and destroys the light. Let's set up some sting operations to get the light bandits. The city confirms contractors who are working on the highway lights are dealing with issues of theft and vandalism. Of around 3,700 highway lights in Orleans Parish, there are about 1,200 outages, or just under one-third. The city points toward the state's Department of Transportation and Development for a number of the outages due to ongoing projects. It's not that somebody has not gone up on a lift to replace the light bulbs. There are matters that are being addressed right now, but it is complex. Councilman Eugene Green says the city could have done a better job communicating with drivers about the work. We're also working to push the Department of Transportation and Development to do what they can to move faster on these projects. State DOTD confirms at least two active projects in Orleans impacting interstate lights, signage upgrades on I-10 between Carrollton and Broad, and a light system replacement at the I-10-610 interchange near the high-rise. But that doesn't account for all the outages. Thomas says he wants to see sting operations to catch the light thieves. Why haven't we sent a message that we're going to make an example out of someone who's stealing the wiring from our light stanchions? You're putting a lot of people at risk for a very, very selfish reason. DOTD tells me the department does expect to have the signage upgrades on I-10 between downtown and Carrollton complete next month. Then they say the city would be able to turn the lights back on. As for the high rise, the state says it has wrapped up a project to install new LED lights, and it's now up to the city to turn them on. Meg?